Hey everybody, it's Pete. Good morning. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting, which is something I preach every single day in the boot camp, which is understanding when to be patient and when to get in there and go get it because there's money to be earned. There's a little bit of a second part to that as well, because even on days, weeks, and months when it's really good and it's lining up, um, within that, there's still going to be some trading losses. So I, I guess we first want to start out with... Um, you have to accept the fact that there's going to be losses when you're trading. The very definition of what we're, we're all pushing towards when we begin trading is we want to be finding an edge. And again, an edge means it works most of the time. It's something that is probably going to happen, which implies, which is a section of trading where a lot of people just don't want to acknowledge, um, is even on good ideas, we're going to have losing trades. Even if we do every single thing right leading into the trade, the definition of edge means that there's going to be X amount of winners, X amount of losers over time. And if we do what we're supposed to, we should come out profitable. And again, the, the, the most important part is before the trade, which is having your edge and then finding trades that match your edge. Um, but the way we make money <laughs> is actually what happens between entry and exit. And we see it all the time in the boot camp where everybody can get into the same price or a bunch of people can get into the same stocks or the same uh, window you know, within a, within a little bit of money. But then it's the exit part of the trade um, that really separates making $10,000 a month versus making $1,000 a month. It's, it's finding the good ideas. It's entering those good ideas at the right time, and then managing the backside of the trade where you do you add to the position? Do you book profits in certain situations instead of adding? And I'll give you the most uh, clear cut example of that is let's just say for argument's sake, you know that you want to add to a position or there is a certain uh, um, typical place that you'll add. So let's say you buy here and it pushes up in your favor. You're like, okay, I want to add some shares. But what if the market internals, what if the market itself, what if the overall day uh, is negative uh, or choppy? Those are the type of days where instead of when it pushes up in your face and pauses, so you get a, you get a good move up in your favor, uh, not your face, in your favor, pushes up in your favor and pauses, that might be an opportunity on that particular kind of day to be taking profits as opposed to um, looking to build a position. Then there's other types of days where um, it pushes up and pauses, and you might hear me in, in the boot camp saying, okay, this, 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 and this is all lining up perfectly. You should be looking to add to winning positions right now and expanding our profit target. But that's what separates somebody who gets paid from somebody who's frustrated. So when you go back to the first part of what I said, it's learning and having structure to recognize the difference between the situations. And then the second part is actually executing it properly. And, and look, I got to be honest with you, that's the single biggest thing about investing in yourself. If you invest in yourself and join the boot camp, we're talking about $295 to learn how to make tens of thousands of dollars by simply understanding structure. But here's the big thing I, I want to get across. What is it costing you to not understand this? How many losing trades, how many losing days, weeks, months, and years has it cost you already by not understanding the single biggest thing I want to get across right now, by not understanding when not to trade, by not understanding when not to trade heavy? Think about that for a second. If you trade the same way all the time, every day, that literally means you don't have an edge. So the whole point of what I want to get across in today's video is this. For the last few weeks, I'm, I'm going to go to the market first and then I'm going to come back to the video because it, I need to um, really emphasize this uh, so you have a visual. That's kind of the, the important thing. So we're going to go over to the charts. I'm going to use the SPY as an example. And we're going to look at July through August. Then we're going to take a look at September and then October. And we're rallying a little bit here in, in, in November, which is a big part of my explanation. When the market is obvious, that's when you could scale up. When the market is bearish, right? I'm saying bearish because most people like to trade long, they don't short sell, and choppy. You got basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days of choppy here, and then more selling, and then four days of choppy. This is when you need to recognize if it's obvious. 
that's what separates somebody from a, who's a chart reader who is not making money and beating their head against the wall saying, I understand everything. I understand relative strength, stochastics, MACD, everything you could possibly imagine, but you can't make money. This last piece of understanding when you should step on the gas, when you should pull yourself back, when you should work your orders, when you should trade for cash flow. That's what you're missing. That is the biggest piece of trading you're missing if you know everything about trading, but you can't get paid. That is why you need to invest in yourself because how long has it been taking for you to not understand that? So the point that I wanna make here, and, and this is really, uh, I'm very proud of everybody in the boot camp right now because the last few weeks heading into the election, I personally used my experience to walk everybody through, let's trade for cash flow, let's work the orders, let's take what's available right now. The market has a lot of external factors and I'm not even talking about the pandemic, I'm talking about the lack of clarity heading into the election. So every single day, I was trade for what we get right now, trade for what we got right now, trade for what we got. Don't push your leverage right now. For the most part, we're not seeing those kind of situations. So we scaled back, took profits, were super disciplined on our exits, both losing trades as well as when we were supposed to book profits. But then the last couple of days unfolded where the market was really obvious, and especially in the morning if you're day trading. So here's the thing. If you, your account starts here, and you're, you're not recognizing what we did in the boot camp, which was tougher conditions. You don't recognize it. Your account's like this. You're all over the place and probably buying high, selling low, and doing the exact opposite of what's supposed to happen. So your account starts here, let's say in um, the beginning of September, all the way even through October. You don't recognize it. Your account's going like this. But if you actually understand what to look at and you listen to what we've been talking about, your account might be going like this. So you're not making too much, you're making some, you're not necessarily, you're definitely not losing big money. And if you are a sniper, like we are in the, in the boot camp, we kept saying stock specific, stock specific, stock specific. You are now here, as opposed to all the way down, literally off the monitor, you're here in good shape. And the last couple of days unfold and you are now net profitable instead of when it's obvious, you just kind of like clawing your way back to even. So that's the difference between somebody who's struggling and somebody who expects to make money every month. It's recognizing and having an edge, recognizing the different conditions of when you should be in cash, when you should trade for cash flow, and when there's more on the table and like, baby, let's go get it. Understanding those differences is what will ultimately make net profitable traders. And if you're struggling, that's what you're missing. There's a very good book. <clears throat> The, book, the author's name is Victor Sperandio. It's Methods of a Wall Street Master. And in the book, one of the most um, epiphany type moments for me personally, when I read the book in the early 2000s, was where he talked about in his trading, which was a little bit longer term, he said, some years line up where I only have four to six good ideas per year, per year. Now, obviously, us as active traders were involved a lot more aggressively than that. But think in your mind, how many trades per day can you say, you know what, that was a great idea. Doesn't matter, I, I lost money on it. I would take that trade all day long. It just didn't follow through. That's when you know you have an edge. Also, when I hear somebody in the boot camp say, I don't see anything. That makes me proud because that means that they know what our edge is. They understand, or excuse me, they understand order flow. They understand how to read the tape and none of the stocks in their watch list match the criteria that tells them it's an awesome idea. So I'm throwing this out there because I, I guess in one sense, I'm very proud of everybody in the boot camp because we did a really good job of not over trading when the market was a little bit tough. And then a couple of days, like we had the last two days line up and there's easier money on the table. That's real trading. You have to be okay with being patient and also have to be okay with understanding when to size up. So if you need some help with this, gosh, I'd love to see you in the boot camp. I'd love to see you make that investment in yourself. Like I said, for $295, you get $3,000 worth of training. Uh, you get full access to me every day, uh, Monday through Friday. Plus we have our forum, plus we have our coaching calls. Look, I'm not doing a hard sell. I'm just, I'm just asking you to, to ask yourself, um, what is it costing you not to learn this stuff and to understand how to implement it? So I'm very proud of everybody in the boot camp. I just, I can't express it enough. You see clearly the difference between when it's tough and how to trade and when it's obvious and how to trade. In the last couple of days, 
you know, I don't, we all know why it's happening. The market's rallying because we're finally starting to get a little clarity on the election. Uh, we might sell off again after that. I don't know, but it's been two really beautiful mornings of trading uh, because we got the clarity, but more importantly, we were ready to take advantage of it and we didn't have to dig out of a hole. So if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below the video. I'd love to hear from you. Um, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. Uh, and if you really want to help yourself, click down and learn more about the bootcamp. I think you'd really like being a member of our community. Have a great day, everyone.